Hey guys, Dr. Lara here. Today I'm here with Mochi. Mochi is a three-year-old female Spay German Shepherd. And Mochi's coming today because mom was saying that she had some really sharp teeth. She had thought that her, her previous veterinarian said that she probably just needed some crowns because it didn't look like the pulp was exposed. Now, when you guys look at Mochi, Mochi is not wearing a muzzle. This is called the gentle leader. And so this is just something that Mochi has. Um, she's kind of like me. She has, probably has some ADD and she's all over the place. So this helps to keep her attention, but this is not a muzzle. Um, so when evaluating a dog's teeth, whether they're fractured or, and what kind of treatment they need, the only true way to know what, what kind of treatment the dog will need is going to require general anesthesia. I'm gonna say that again. The only way that you will know the, major, the majority of the time what the dog needs is with general anesthesia required because general you need dental x-rays to do um, to do a proper evaluation now when i went ahead and did an evaluation on mochi's teeth mom thought it was just the bottom teeth when i went ahead and looked i'm going to see if she's going to let us um all right so abraham if you want to come close let's see here so if you guys come over here you can see see this little dot right here that's because mochi has um her most likely her pulp exposed that's the inside of the tooth and she has it on all four of her canines or her fangs now the canines are very very important teeth they occupy a lot of uh, real estate um, for the upper jaw and the lower jaw and they also go ahead um, and are very important to the anatomy of the dog's mouth now, there are a few teeth that, are, that most insurance companies will cover um, to do root canals on. The canines are one of the four, four out of the eight teeth that are covered. That's how important they are to the dog's mouth that even the insurance recognizes the importance of them, okay? Now, in this particular dog, this is most likely gonna be um, an all day kind of procedure. Uh, if she ends up needing either crowns or root canals, this is going to be at least a two-part procedure. First, where we go ahead and we grab the molds um, the first day, and then two weeks later, uh, once we get those molds back that uh, have been met, they've created the crowns from those molds, custom manufactured for her, we will go ahead and place those crowns on the patient. Whether or not we do a root canal, that's all gonna be based on the evaluation while she's under general anesthesia. This is something that can be potentially very painful for patients um, and can compromise other areas of the mouth. Uh, so it is really, really important that you go ahead and get teeth evaluated um, as soon as you notice some sort of defect in the mouth. It is also one of the things that your veterinarian should be evaluating on a once a year basis, uh, if not every six months. Um, honestly, the only reason I know so much about the teeth is because I work with uh, oral surgeons and I've learned a lot from working with them over the last five to six years. Otherwise, before that, I probably would have looked at this dog and been like, oh, the dog's okay, the dog's comfortable, fine, don't need to do anything. Um, so don't be upset with your veterinarian if they don't identify these things. Uh, it's just something that we're not even really taught a lot in vet school because we have to learn so much. So, um, you know, she's done a great job. Um, she does have some separation anxiety, but she's doing a great job with us. And we just wanna say thank you to her. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you guys found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Take care and be safe. Say bye.